Hey, this is for the dog channel. The episode you are watching explains the role of the dog's hormone. I will explain what causes hormone imbalance and how to avoid this condition. Information is beneficial for every dog owner, so let's begin. All the organs and glands in our body serve essential purposes within the body's overall function. If you're talking about hormones in general, a slight abnormality or imbalance in the endocrine system will disrupt the regulatory balance and affect how cells function. Causes of hormone imbalances can be poor diet, stress, behavior, passive lifestyle, pain, body consumption, structural issues and toxicity, internal as well as external. But I have news, good news for you. I have a dedicated episode number three about detoxification of the dog's body. Check it out. The imbalance or decline can occur rapidly or slowly over the years. If hormones are not adequately evaluated or brought into balance, optimal health is not obtainable. Too often hormones and the endocrine system don't receive any attention. Hormone glands are essential to maintain health, such as healthy body structure, proper metabolism, proper digestion, maintenance of healthy weight, energy production, uh, behavior and mood. Glands include thyroid, pancreas, adrenals, testes or ovaries. These glands produce hormones to send chemical messages to communicate within the body. There are hundreds of different hormones within the body that work daily to regulate everything in its body. The thyroid hormone. The thyroid gland is one of the master hormone glands that affects everything. The thyroid gland is located in the throat area near Adam's apple in animals. The thyroid gland produces two different hormones. One is T4 and one is T3. T4 is inactive and made in the most significant amount, from 80 to 90 percent. T3 is the active thyroid hormone, and uh, that is that is present is in about 10 to 20 percent. One transform into the another, and T4 has changed to T3. T3 in this example would be like power energy for smartphones. The iPhone need uh, electrical power to inter entertain you. T4 is like reserved power bank as an alternative source of power. So what the body can convert into T3 is more like required. Like you charge your phone, tablet, notebook on the go. Can you guess where is the majority of this conversation take place? In the liver. Wow fact for all owners who fed their dogs commercial over processed food. Because plant-based ingredients stress the liver and disrupt its function. We can agree that the liver is one of the essential organs. And as the dog grow older, we have to make more and more efforts to keep the pet's liver healthy. Episode number 6 explains all aspects of feeding a senior dog to obtain liver health in detail. You can see that the thyroid gland is very much dependent on the liver function properly, but the liver is also dependent on the thyroid hormone. They can't work without each other and because the liver needs good nutrition to function well, we have a connection to a good diet here. Of course, the thyroid also can nutrients like iodine to produce thyroid hormones if the animal does not have enough iodine its, in its diet, it may not be able to make enough from T3 and T4 hormones. So let's talk about testing. When your veterinar test your animal's thyroid, usually they try T4 only. They don't test T3 or any other thyroid hormones parameters. That is troublesome because as you probably realize now, if we only measure T4, we don't know how much of the T4 is being activated into T3 in liver, in gut or other tissues. Measuring T4 tells us how much power energy we have, but we don't know how much power band capacity to be transformed into a charging device. The thyroid hormone is essential for every cell. Without the thyroid hormone, the cells cannot do their jobs. That's like having a home without electricity. Nothing will happen. In uh, all in house systems are off. Dog need enough thyroid hormone for all processes to power it up. To test T4 and T3 hormones, uh, another hormones can be tested, such as an estrogen. When we try hormone levels, we can much get an overall view 
uh, of what's going on on within the hormonal system because uh, hormones interact with each other. If one is out of balance, another will become out of balance. For example, progesterone and estrogen need to be in harmony. Testing is essential because we need to know what's going on. If your animal's thyroid isn't functioning as well as it should, several symptoms will develop that can only be fixed by restoring proper thyroid function. Spraying and neutering. This is a common place to remove vital organs such as ovaries and testicles. These organs are essential for maintaining health, such as healthy weight and body structure. Recently, the side effects of spraying and nurturing have gained more attention. Several studies have uh, found significant health risks related to spraying and nurturing, such as his dysplasia due to, to metabolic disorder, disorder of mineral, mineral metabolism such as calcium, which leads to uh, uroleasis, increased risk of cardiac tumors and bone cancer, abnormal bone growth and development, urinary incontinence when a dog pees at home because he or she can't wait, adverse reaction on vaccines, AG allergies, facial swelling, uh, vomiting, hives, uh, itchiness, uh, diarrhea and breathing difficulties. Next one, tumors originating from lymphatic vascular tissue, lymphosarcoma mast cell tumors. Insufficient thyroid hormones in the body causes hyperthyroidism disease. Behavioral problems such as aggression, fear, compulsions, vulnerability to infections, diseases, consequently a decrease in immunity. In my episode number two is information about dog's robust immune system. I highly recommend watching it. So let's sum up. The main point in this video. Our animals need all of their hormones for their body to function correctly. Whether or not do spraying or nurturing is up to pet owners, but we must consider all the details I've mentioned to make an intelligent decision to improve our four-legged friend's life. Now you know information about dog's hormones. I appreciate your help in supporting this channel. Links as usual are in the description below. Have a nice day and see you next week. Bye.